Hello, I am Dr. Anita Krishnan working at Bangalore ENT Care Center, Kodamangala. I am a consultant ENT surgeon with a special interest in rhinology. Coblation assisted adenoids are performed under general anesthesia. The child is first given anesthesia to sedate completely and the child is kept in position. There are two ways in which the adenoid can be approached. Some surgeons prefer to go through the nose and some surgeons prefer to go through the throat. If the child is very small, the coblator wand is placed inside the throat with the wand facing up towards the adenoid tissue and at all points it's ensured that the coblator wand tip is visible to the surgeon. A nasal endoscope 0 degree or 30 degree is inserted through the nose to visualize the adenoid and the coblator wand is used to remove the adenoid layer by layer in a sweeping motion. At the same time, if there is any small microscopic bleeds seen, they are coagulated with the coagulate mode. After all the adenoid tissue is removed and the pedimysium is visible, we ensure that complete hemostasis or all bleeding, there is no bleeding at all even at a microscopic level and then the surgery is stopped. Coblation assisted adenoid surgery could take anything from 20 minutes to 45 minutes. This depends on the size of the adenoids as in like some children have very small adenoids but they are infected or allergic and still create symptoms and have to be removed. And some adenoids are very bulky and due to repeated infections becomes fibrous and tough uh, tissue difficult to remove. So it also depends on the experience of the surgeon. An experienced surgeon can remove the adenoids in about 20 minutes whereas a beginner would take probably 45 minutes to one hour to do the same. We first remove the adenoid tissue using a coblator mode and in between if there is any kind of microscopic bleed it is controlled in the coagulator mode. Every parent panics when they are told that their child has to undergo an adenoidectomy. They are worried about the anesthesia and they are worried about the bleeding. Now there is no need to panic because coblation assisted procedure which is the latest technology to remove adenoids is available in our country. In this particular method, a plasma film, a plasma field is used to remove the tissue, which helps in completely removing the tissue so that it assures no recurrence and there is very minimal bleeding. This is done under direct vision with an endoscope which is passed through the nose. Post-operative care after coblation assisted adenoidectomy is pretty much the same as a conventional adenoidectomy. You have to ensure that the child does not go out into dusty and hot environments. You should ensure that the child is restricts himself or herself to cold, bland, soft diet. Preferably not to eat very hard things. The nose has to be kept moist by using saline nasal drops. Child has to be adequately hydrated and the prescribed antibiotics and medications which is given by the operating doctor has to be followed to the T. You cannot skip any medicines. If there is any sign of any discomfort, the doctor has to be informed immediately. The complications of adenoidectomy surgery using a coblator mode is relatively rare because the surgery is done under vision. The surgery is done with a tool which is capable of controlling bleeding on the spot and also evaporating the tissue instead of cutting or uh, scoring. The surgeon, if the surgeon makes sure that the, only the adenoid tissues are removed and not the lining over the muscle called the perimysium is not touched, then there wouldn't be any complication. The rarest complication is sometimes a delayed bleeding after 12 days which normally can happen if there is any infection because the child and the parent has not taken care post-operatively. It is relatively a very safe procedure.